Hey, what's up, guys? And this is big news. So basically, Kabam said that it, after you 100% um, Abyss of Legends, you're gonna get a six-star class Nexus crystal. So you can pick whatever class you want, and then out of the Nexus, instead of just having three options of a six-star, you can pick up to ten. And I have this list. I made this a while ago, just like best champions for each class, like an order, and. I mean, it's just my opinion. Obviously, some of these can be moved around depending on the scenario. But it's just overall like thoughts. But so I just want to talk about like which one that if you wanted to go for, um, like, what are some of your options? So you have ten champions, and ideally you want the best of the best of each class. I mean, I, I don't know why you'd want like a rhino or something. But like, so first we can go for uh, signs. So if you want to go for the signs, you won't be getting quake because quake's not even a six star. If but you can get a Captain America Infinity War, Void, Torch, Thing, She-Hulk. These are like the top of the class, from my opinion. And after 100% in Abyss, you want a character who can just like do content. She-Hulk, she doesn't really have any utility other than the slow and poison immunity. And I guess the taunt. Thing, he just has a lot of protection, but you need to have him like really high sig to be good. So I don't think he's a really good 6-star option. Torch, I wouldn't go for a 6-star Torch from an, for a science because... um. You know, you probably, after you get in this world, you've already done Abyss, so Torch is good, obviously, but you want, like, a strong ranking 3, 6-star. So I would say the two options, if you're going for signs that you, like, the top of the class, it's probably Captain America, Infinity War, and Void, because those two as 6-star rank 3s is insane, and I'd say probably Captain America is the best, because he's just the best with his perfect block, all the utility, and because as a 6-star rank 3, his prestige is really high, only at, like, 6 at like only sig 20 i think he's like the highest six star rank three so um, that's good i would say maybe go for science but most of the things in the science class you already got from abyss and you can't get quake as a six star so i don't know if science is the best option but obviously it just depends on your account next we're to skill and skill you can't get blade because he's only a, as a five star but i mean the only two you'd really want is Aegon and nick fury a rank three stealthy spider-man would be cool i mean but if you're going for a six-star nexus, you're on the top of the top. I don't think anyone's gonna be really hunting for a stealth suit. So they're really the top pulls are Nick Fury and Aegon. And if you've done Abyss, you probably already have an Aegon, or like five star, six star. So you might not be looking for him. So I guess you'd be looking for Nick Fury. But so that's like I would say Aegon and Nick Fury are like the two big options if you want to go for um, the skill nexus. But I still wouldn't advise going for that one, only because. The amount of trash in the still skill class. Obviously, a lot of these characters aren't released as, or a few of these aren't released as six stars, but um, like Blade. But really, realistically, Nick Fury is good, but you can get so much trash. And you might, I mean, going for a six star Aegon is just, if you've already known this, you probably already have a six star Aegon Awakened or a five star, so it might not be the best trying to just get like another Aegon in your account. But yes, it's just my advice. I wouldn't go for skill. My advice is ign maybe ignore these two classes and these four. These four are the ones you might want to go for only because these four have some massive pulls in them. Mutant, I would say you can go for because there's a lot of good characters in here. You might not get a, you have a good chance of getting something. This is like, how many characters are there? There's 30 characters in the mutant class. Actually, minus Weapon X and a few others, like Deadpool and stuff and Gold Pool. So there's probably less, it's like 25-ish if I had to say. You can get 10. You can get an Omega Red, a Colossus, a Domino, a Sunspot, a Havoc, a Namor, Emma Frost, Tip Tooth. There's so many good options. And if you want like a good like a rank three clearer, I would be hunting for the Colossus, Omega Red, just like the big boys. But I personally won't be going for Mutant. Um, I'll tell you which one I'm going for later, but Cosmic. This class, if you don't have a Corvus, or, I would say go for this class. because or Not always, but... Corvus is just such like a god when it comes to just general clearing like AQ, AW, like um, Act 6, all that stuff. He's just an absolute beast if you're on suicides. If you don't on suicides, I would advise not getting him. But Captain Marvel movie, also a god. I put Corvus above her on the list only because this is this list is just for like characters by themselves. And by themselves, I don't think Captain Marvel, Marvel movies that's good. But if you have a 5 or 6 star Nick Fury to pair with Captain Marvel, I think she's probably the best cosmic character. So if you want a Captain Marvel movie, um, she's really good in prestige and all that, I would go for her. But the only problem with Cosmic is, like, there's not a lot of characters you'd really want. Like, 
there's a lot of good characters, but like when you're going, when you're 100% abyss, you're not looking for just like hellos or carnages. You're looking for like the top of the top. You're either looking for the Corvus, Captain Marvel movie, or Silver Surfer, if I had to really guess. Because Medusa and Venom, I think they're better than Silver Surfer, but when you're in the end game, you're looking for prestige too. So, unless you really want Corvus or Captain Marvel, I'd advise it maybe not going for Cosmic either. Unless you really want Corvus. If you don't have either of these two as a high star, I'd maybe go for it. Now, Tech tech is a class that it's so weak, but it's so carried by, like, a few characters. And this whole combustor on the list is if this is the buffed one that I'm putting in the list. But if you don't have a 5 or 6 star ghost, Tech might be the best option just because you have a chance. Tech has the least amount of champions. Some of these characters aren't even as 5 stars or 6 stars. So there's realistically, like, 25 once again, like, like maybe 20-something tech characters in six stars so you have a pretty good chance of getting ghost or warlock or guillotine 2099 and these three are like carrying what did i just do these three carry the tech class if you can get a ghost and you don't have a five or six star ghost like someone like brian grant he might want to go for this just because ghost is such a strong character that she's like single-handedly is like a reason you might want to go for the tech one another one i'm going to be going for is mystic actually i don't know yet once i get the tier five class catalyst i'll see i have one tier five class catalyst from um what's it called from act six and i got mystic and i don't want to be and mystic is the least amount of characters in it so you the so it's like around 25 characters and you can get doom okay it's a little bit less than a 50 percent chance but if you get doom Oh, this is gonna be so good for prestige because you can get the five star or six star generic awakening gem from the abyss you can get the six star mystic and you can rank three doom that's what i'm going for this one's also i think really good to go for because you can get a doom the symbiote clairvoyant mojo just these four are really god tier characters when they're like six star awake mojo kind of needs to be awakened like these three the god mystics none of them really need to be awakened so that's what i'm gonna be personally going for so each class has like one or two characters you really might want to go for. Um, you might think it'd be more, but if you're a hundred percent in the abyss, characters like Doctor Voodoo, like Mysterio, I guess, like um, I don't know, just Venom, Celestial Spider Man. Even though they are, in my opinion, Beyond God tier, they're not like the top of the Beyond God tier class. Some of these aren't, but. Uh, the ones in, like, the dark color are the ones that I think are, like, the god tiers. The ones in, like, the middle are, like, usable. And the ones underneath are just, you don't want to use them. So, I would say for science, if you want to give a science, I'd be, you'd be ideally looking for Captain America or Void. Unless you want to awaken your thing you have. But, I don't know. Torch is also really good, but you just 100% of the best. So, how useful is he really going to be? Scale, you're going to be probably looking for Aegon or Nick Fury. Um, if you've done the Abyss, you probably already have a 5 or 6 star Aegon. If you haven't done the Abyss and you get the Nexus, then good for you. I'm, you're a soldier, because fuck that. Um, so you're probably really just going to be looking for Nick Fury in the skill class. So I'd advise not going for skill. Mutant, you're probably looking for the Omega Red, Colossus, Domino, Sunspot. I, have, I mean, there's a lot of good mutants, but you're probably looking for the Omega Red or Colossus, the two best in my opinion. If you're going for Cosmic, you're probably just looking for Corvus or Captain Marvel movie. If you're going with tech, you're realistically just going for Ghost. And if you have a Ghost, you might be going in a Warlock or something. Mystic. Pretty much everyone who's going for Mystic, I'm just assuming is going for Doom. So really, it just depends on your roster. For me, I'm going to be going for Mystic unless I somehow pull Doom um, in the near future before this. I doubt it, but if I do, then I don't know. And also, make your decisions based on which Tier 5 class catalyst you get. Say you have Doom and like Omega... And you want to awaken one of the two, and but you only have a tier five mystic, and you don't have any mutant. Instead of waiting to get a mutant, which will take I don't know how long, I would say just go for the mystic and try to awaken your doom that way. So yeah, play it by like what you have in your inventory. If you have a sign, if you have a Captain America Infinity War, and you really want to get him awakened, or you have a board and you really want to get him awakened, and you have a tier five. Um, signs to go with it then yeah go for that class i would say only go over the class that you have tier 5 ccn because honestly at this point six star rank twos like that's been like the ceiling of power for so long but once you understand a bit six star rank three is going to start taking over your account and it's going to be very sexy um like for me i have a six star rank two corvus and a six star rank two ghost and a six star rank two aegon 
So I have the three top of these three classes, minus Omega Red, at six stars. So I want Mystic, I want a Doom, but tier five CC, I'm gonna get two. If I, oh, actually my Aegon's not ranked two, he's ranked three, I just realized, so ignore that. So if I get Cosmic or Tech, I can already take a God Beyond God tier, best of the class, rank three. So yeah, it just depends on your account. For me, I'm gonna go in for Mystic. Mystic I think is also is one of the best because it has the least amount of characters in it. There's only 25 characters on this list and a few of these aren't even available at six stars, so it's probably a little bit less. So you have like around a little bit less than a 50% chance to get Doom or someone on this list. And if you open 10 of these, you're gonna at least get, there's no way you can open 10 out of like 20 and not get at least a Doom, Symbiote, Claire, Mojo, just or it's long, just someone good. It'd be, it'd be really sad if you didn't. So yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, I'd say the worst one to go for, if I had to say it, is probably skill. Um, Cause realistically, if you're hunting for skill, you're looking for Aegon, Nick Fury. And if you've done the Abyss 100%, I don't really know what you'd want an Aegon for. I mean, Aegon's obviously a timeless character. The next big Abyss thing, he's gonna be good for too. I mean, we already just know it. Unless they really do some weird notes to screw him over. But um, Science, Quake's not even a six star, so I don't know if it's worth going for, but I don't know. Just make a decision on your own based on your roster. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like and subscribe. Tell me what you're gonna go for if you once you eventually 100% Abyss and then in the future. Right now, for me, I've done two paths. I'm about to do the third path tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm eventually going to get there. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.